Welcome back to Los Angeles, which is getting into Oscars fever here at RFA number 12, though. It is all about the MMA and what a night it's been. Extraordinary fight so far. A lot of first round finishes. One fight that went the distance and we've still got our two championship fights to go. Coming up next, Billy Daniels, 7-0. Defending champion Pedro Munoz, 9-0. The bantamweight gold is on the line. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome fighting out of the blue corner, Billy Crash Daniels. Billy Crash Daniels. 7 0 with a featherweight. First fight at Bantamweight. He's going for the championship. 71% of wins by submission. That's five of them out of seven fights for Billy Daniels. Trains with Travis Marks, the Bellator bantamweight finalist. There you see the streak. Dustin Dell, Derek Wilkerson, Suksan Simpleman, Daniel Good, and Wade Martinson. Even though most of his wins are by submission, he feels that he can win this fight standing up. Feels he's bigger since it's his first fight down at this weight division. Feels he's bigger than Pedro. Could put a little bit of muscle on him. And earlier on, we talked to a very excited Billy Daniels. I have two decisions on my record. I think he's got the same, you know, two or three decisions on his record. And uh, the rest are all finishes. We both come to finish fights. We come to fight. We're not here to win on points. I don't want it to go to the judges. He doesn't want it to go to the judges. And uh, we're both well-rounded everywhere. And I think it's going to be, you know, fight of the night. It's going to be a scrap. A good six-week camp for uh, Philly Daniels, working his takedown defense and kicking the fight on its feet and scrambling. Introducing his opponent fighting out of the red corner, Pedro, the young Punisher Munoz. Pedro Munoz is an absolute stud. And that's just, just not Pat and I saying that, but that's what Billy Daniels said. When we asked him yesterday, what are your thoughts on Munoz? He said, Pedro is a stud. He is, he's the champion. Finished six of nine opponents a date. 56% of wins by submission. Black belt in BJJ under Marco Barbosa. Brown belt in judo. Trained with Anderson Silva and Leozo Machida at Black House. As well as with Rafael Cadera, Kings MMA, Babalu Sabral and Kenny Johnson. Shotokan background. Judo from early childhood. Began training BJJ at 13. Very underrated striking as well for Pedro Munoz. This guy can do it all. He is the guy that I picked to be the best prospect for the UFC. Very talented guy. Exceptional wrestling. He's picked up wrestling very well, and his judo plays a big part. He hits some crazy sick throws on people when they least expect it, and he goes to work on the ground. Is there any pressure to being a champion? We found out. Always you're going to have a pressure. You know, whatever job you're going to do, any moment, so you're going to have a pressure. Pressure always is going to be there. So I'm going there, I'm going to put on my best, I'm going to put a good show, and win, it's going to be a part of the show. When I fight in the RFA to defend my title, in my mind, I don't see nobody taking the title. So in my mind, I see always, I'm going to, I'm going to have the title forever. Pedro Munoz, who plans to be even more aggressive in this fight. 9-0 versus 7-0. Six years the elder is Munoz. He is the shorter of the two. Gives up a slight weight disadvantage. Reaches all over him. Billy Daniels in the arms. 72 inches to 65. Our experts fight cage for our co-main event. Bantamweight championship on the line. Striking Munoz. Ground is Munoz. Speed is Munoz. Strength is Munoz. Endurance is Munoz. That said, there's not a lot in it. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the co-main event of the evening. This fight is scheduled for five five-minute rounds for the RFA Bantamweight World Championship. It is brought to you by New Breed Nutrition. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands 5'10", weighing in at 135 pounds, holding a professional record of seven wins, zero losses. Training out of Ironclad Training Center from Vernal, Utah, Billy Craig. Daniels!
His opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner, stands five foot seven, weighed in at 134.4 pounds, holding a professional record of nine wins, zero losses. Training on a black house and King's MMA from Los Angeles, California. You're defending RFA Bantamweight World Champion, Pedro the Young Punisher Munoz. Your referee in charge of the action is Stephen Davis. Okay, gentlemen, we'll go over the rules in the locker room. Obey my commands at all time. Protect yourself at all time. When the bell rings, come out swinging. Touch gloves if you want. They stare down. The champion, Pedrino Munoz. And Billy Crash Daniels. Daniels, the underdog, plus 900. The overwhelming favorite, Munoz, at minus 1,850. Southpaw stance on Billy Crash Daniels. Orthodox stands on Pedro Munoz, and we're underway. High left round kick, aggressive start here from Billy Daniels, but he's on the back foot early. Munoz catching it. Daniels already hurt by that that uh, kick to the body. Munoz looking for a quick submission. Can he find it? The champion. Daniels trying to pop the head out, push the elbow down, tightening it up. Already first submission attempt, it came inside of 20 seconds from the champ, and he firms it up again. Billy trying to pry that leg down, but kind of getting his arm trapped. Meet me somewhere! Pedro Munoz has done it again! My word! Back. Who can stop Pedrino? He is something special. He is something special. You know, he merely made it onto the Ultimate Fighter, but was cut in the final interview stage because he was boring and didn't talk trash. Well, that's the way that Pedrino does his talking. Quick subs like that. My word, folks, keep an eye on Munoz in 2014. He is going places. You know, RFA is the unofficial feeder league of the UFC. Well, there's maybe a sure bet that he's going to find his way there, perhaps before the end of the year, Pedro Munoz. Excitement here. Excitement cage side as well, because settling into a microphone to join us soon, a legend. Someone very excited to talk to. We'll chat to him soon. I'll let you know. Let's just say he's a man with a monster moustache. Billy Daniels never in the fight. First couple of seconds opened up with a nice round kick. Then got tagged, was hurt, was backtracking. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee Stephen Davis calls a stop to this fight in 41 seconds of the first round for your winner by tap out due to key and teeth choke. And still, RFA Bantamweight World Champion, Pedro the Young Punisher Munoz. The Young Punisher, Pedrino Munoz, the Bantamweight strap around his waist again, his pack. All right, Pedro Munoz, that's a. Uh... That's a good way to make money. You weren't in there very long, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited right now. Bill Dan is a very tough opponent. He's a defeated, he's a young and hungry guy. But I have been training hard. And uh, I want to say something right here. Uh, Joey Silva, Shane Shelby. Guys, I'm ready. Please give me the opportunity to fight with the best fighters in the world. You started it all off. Did you realize you hurt him with that front kick to the body? Take us through that. Yeah. So that kick, I want to take my coach, Rafael Cordero. We have been trained that kick many years, many times. I want to thank you, everybody's came in here to support me. Okay, guys, this show is for you guys. Also, I want to thank you, my beautiful wife. I just had a newborn baby. I just had a newborn baby. And uh, Sabrina, where's Sabrina? Sabrina is around here. Sabrina, that's for you. I have a good feeling Joe Silva might be calling you, my friend. Congratulations, Pedro Munoz, ladies and gentlemen. Pedro Munoz defends the championship and dedicates it to his newborn son. Well, the term legendary is often thrown around. 
But this man sitting next to me, it's surreal being next to him, is a legend. The Predator Don Fry. Don, great to have you here at RFA, brother. Fantastic to see you. The mow is uh, doing well, nice and Looking thick and, good, eh? and bushy. <laughs> what are you up to these days, Don? What are you doing with yourself? Oh, I'm hiding from the law right now. So. You are? Yeah. It's not a very good cover on live TV, no, Don. Not, never been accused of being smart, that's for sure. I thought I saw the wanted posters out the front. There's a good reward on you, actually. I am a, I'm worth a lot. You Can know? I bounty hey, hunt? Can hey, I turn down. you on? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Don, when he's sitting here cage side at these fights, he's still got the urge. He's got the, the itchy knuckles to want to maybe throw down in there. Yeah, I want to get in there and punch one of them girls, you know, that's it. <laughs> I figured I might take one of them, you know, after about seven rounds. It's <laughs> seven rounds? That was the best fight of the night, you know that? Those girls are outstanding. How good they were, were they? Uh, Justin Kish was amazing, wasn't they she? They were vicious. It was great. You're on another planet altogether, and you should do some voiceover work, because I absolutely love it. Pixar, give this man a call. The legend, the predator, Don Fry. Good to see you, brother, nice as see you, always. Brother. God bless you, man. <laughs> take care, brother. Great to have him here, folks. More when we return. RFA 12 from Los Angeles. It's our main event. Brian Ortega takes on Keone Coke. The vacant strap is on the line next at RFA 12.